Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Meaty69. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, the Halloween event is going to be here very, very soon. And with this event, you will be able to be uh, to get one tank. Uh, there's a possibility you can get uh, another tank as well. So the two tanks that you can get. You can see this tank here. I'm not quite sure uh, what actually what tanks is it is which but i know you can be you're able to get a tier 5 tank and a tier 7 tank but slightly different so the tier 5 tank is the titan mark 1 which i think this is probably it here the titan mark 1 uh, looks all right actually um actually this could be the tier 7 do you know what i have no idea which tank is which here um but all i know is that you can get a titan mark 1 and i think this one here could be the tier 5 is that the tier 5 i have no idea um but these two tanks it looks like this one is the tier 7 uh, the tier 7 is the titan hn uh, hn so the titan hn is the tier 7 and the tier 5 is the titan mark 1 uh, and i'm guessing like i said by the look of it this one is the titan hn and the, the other one we've just looked at so the event is coming soon unfortunately there is a there's a downfall there is a downfall so how do you get these tanks now it's a bit confusing to be honest so you get some activator boosters so you can click on them in the event page uh, you can click on i think two and one of them you get you use and you get in-game currency so you get the event currency when you either get a victory so you have to select the activator booster for a victory and you have to select another activator booster for class one or mastery badges so you can you can select two in a game and of course if you then get a class one or a mastery or a victory you then get the event currency and with that event currency you can then get the titan mark one which is the tier five now to get the tier seven the the titan h and n you need to get the super activators and of course they cost real money yes so uh just like i think it's just like last year's uh, halloween event to be honest and of course the rest of this video is stuff that we already know anyway so the event is coming uh, you will be able to get one tank for free which is the tier 5 if you want to pay for the super activators then you will have to purchase money now i with money now i'm not quite sure uh, if these are limited so if you select these activators as, as a boost before the game from the event and you don't win uh, I don't know if then that's it I don't know if you once you run out that's it I'm not quite sure how many we're gonna get or how many you're gonna be able to get how easy it is or how hard it is I have none of that information all I know is that the tier 5 is the mark 1 the Titan mark 1 the tier 7 is the Titan H and N and and uh, yeah and I know that you need the super activators to to get the Titan H and N of course coming up with the Halloween there is going to be all the different modes you, you can play all different mad games uh, any of that those are all coming I think you can actually uh, play a few at the same time I'm not entirely sure and I know I think there's three or four different uh, modes coming uh, so I think one of them will be back twice I, I haven't really got all, all that information but I know all mad games uprising everything like that to do with uh, Halloween is coming this Halloween uh, but of course we're here for the uh, the two tanks in the event the two Titan tanks I like what Wargaming are doing I think they've sort of moved away from the defenders uh, and they're starting doing the uh, the Titans and now so uh, God knows how many Titans we're eventually gonna get of course we've got one now in the battle pass we're going to have the tier 5 one and then we're going to have the tier 7 one as well which you need to pay for so uh let me know your thoughts in the comments below of I, I, I hate it when wargaming do these events like activators why can't they just make it simple like you get one point for a win or you get two points if you get a mastery and you need so many points for the freaking tanks why do they have to add all these different currencies different things that you get activators or 
splinters. I don't know. I don't freaking know. Why can't they just make it simple for a change? You get, you need one point. You get one point for a win and two points for a class one or an ace. And you need 50 points for the tank. Why can't they just make it simple like that? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Meadsy and I'll catch you all soon. Bye bye. We'll <laughs>